Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Camille Ams and we are going to talk about the part two of how did I become a flight attendant. So if you haven't watched the first or the part one, please I uh, know please go to my channel and watch the video which is entitled How Did I Become a Flight Attendant? So on that video, we talk about how did I really start, where did I get the experience, how did I get in, how did I do on my job interviews, how did I, you know, how, how was the training and everything. So on this video, we will talk about the bullies and hardship working as a flight attendant so i was my first international flight was in saudi and also that was my first job not first job that was my second job already well um since this is the continuation so i'm gonna talk about the environment the people how the passenger treats you uh, th this is the real job the real real job so that's why i'm wearing my pajama because this is going to be a long i hope not a long or not video of what you do and how do you do as a flight attendant so the first thing that you should know is that you should always be prepared you should always be prepared at any circum circumstances. Dapat ready ka palagi, hindi yung aanga-anga ka or yung yung late ka na mag mag-isip, ganyan. Dapat advanced thinking ka lagi. You always have to think in the future. You always have to think advanced. You always have to think all the possibilities that you could do whenever there's emergency whenever there is something wrong or whenever you have uh like for example wala ka nang wala ka nang maibigay na cup or you know spoon of fork or you have or you have you don't have extra meal na something like that you have to think about everything not just the luxury life of being a flight attendant but the real job is to think in advance to think harder and to think and think and think and think and think so ang gagawin mo lang talaga as a flight attendant is mag-isip ng ways how to do your job better on your daily life so First thing first, you have to think of how much sleep you would like to achieve before your flight. Because especially when it's morning flight. Personally, I hate early morning flights because, of course, I'm not a morning person. If you're not a morning person like me, then it's that's the hardest part. Normally, before I struggle, I always struggle whenever I have a morning flight because normally you wake up at 2.30 a.m., you wake up at 3.30 a.m., you wake up at 12. Sometimes you also have 12, 11, not 11, 12, 1, depending on what time is the departure is. And normally your call time is one hour one and a half hour before the departure flight that's why you always see the flight attendants arrived uh to the to the to the air to the air departure gate <laughs> that's why you always see the flight attendants arrive to the departure day departure gate um 45 minutes 40 to 50 minutes before the depart scheduled departure time okay so you have to manage your time of sleep as well because before like ano kahit sobrang pagod na ako natutulog kasi ako sa tanghali that's the reason why it's give me ano hard time para matulog ng maaga so like for example before i always get to sleep one half hour before my wake up time especially before when my wake up time is supposed to be 
3 a.m. And then I always just snows, snows, snows until it's 3.30. And then I have no chance to do my makeup, to do my grooming and everything. I just, 30 minutes, I prepare 30 minutes before my pickup time in our accommodation. So, like, I, like, Nata nata nakakatulog ako at around nakakatulog ako around 12 1 a.m. and then ang 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 pick up call ko, pick up time ko is 3:30, 3:15, 3 a.m. Grabe, that is the headbang. <laughs> they call it the headbang flight or yeah, the headbang flight kasi talagang hilo-hilo ka. So, I'm going to share it to you one by one, the step step by step how the flight uh, how a flight attendant life start what <laughs> gets okay let's start with the sleeping time we already discussed that and second is the preparation time for the preparation time for me i don't take too much time because i don't like putting makeup on my face i always fail but please don't be like me i always failed my grooming because I don't put makeup, I only put lipstick and kilay, mascara, and that's it. <laughs> because of the way how, because of how I sleep, so, wala akong time to do my makeup and so on and so forth. I always make bawe by putting lipstick. I will choose the brightest lipstick or the red lipstick para mag stand out na lang sa mukha ko. Masabing, I have grooming. And I'm lucky because my airline that time, airlines that time are not very strict when it comes to grooming. Except that, kung meron kang buhok dito, kailangan tanggalin mo yon, something like that. So, as for me, I wake up, but I set my alarm at 3. Sometimes I wake up 3.15 to take shower, prepare, and everything. And then I have to be at the parking lot for our pickup time for the crew bus at around 3.30 or 4 a.m. or 3.50 in the morning. So, what I do normally when I wake up, I go straight to the bathroom, make ligo, clear, very, very quickly go, like 5 minutes quickly go, put on my uniform, fix my hair kahit basang basa pa, blow dry it very quickly kahit basa pa siya, quickly tie it up, tie it up, ganyan, tas lalagay ko na yung cup namin, and then I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go out without kilay. As I'm gonna go out like this. <laughs> Wala akong kaayos-ayos. I'm gonna go out like this. And then, um, while, while, cause our driving time from, from our accommodation to the airport is around 45 minutes. So I have plenty of time to put lipstick, to put kilay. And that's why I managed to put kilay while driving because of that. And so, when you arrive at the airport, of course, you have to be looking nice and looking mean and proper. And you have to, ano, dapat maganda yung postura mo, ganyan. And of course, feel na feel mo yun. Kasi bababa ka, kasama mo na yung captain. And ano, co-pilot, and ganyan. And the rest of the crew, you will all walk together pagdating nyo in entering the airport, ganyan. So, that is the best feeling ever. Yun talaga yung feel na feel mo kasi nauna si Captain. 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 Cap Captain. Si Kapitan. <laughs> yun, nauna si Captain. Tapos, Cap... Ala! Ayoko na. <laughs> nauna si Kapitan. Tapos, after ni Kapitan, syempre... Sorry for that. So, now una si Kapitan. Tapos, susunod ng mga flight attendant with their trolleys, ganyan. Tapos, walking in sa the airport security. For security, wala ka masyadong gagawin kasi crew eh. Pag crew ka, they prioritize you to enter the airport first. So, you don't have to queue. You don't have to do anything. Just go inside and then show your ID. Pak, 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 pak. VIP treatment ka, girl! So, after you, after, ano, pupunta kayo syempre sa office nyo. Hey! So, pagdating nyo sa office, then that is when you will meet the other crew. So, when you meet the other crew, you will, of course, Hi, hello, uh, good morning. Ah, ha, ha. That's when you have to socialize to everybody. <laughs> I just said, ha, ha, ha. Kasi, hindi ako 
pala socialize. I'm not that kind of person, really. So, hindi naman ako snobbish din. I smile, ganyan. Pero hindi ako yung, hey, kamusta ka na? Ano nangyari? Balita? Ano mo? No, I don't do that. Like, when I enter the office, of course, it is in Saudi. First of all, I was in Saudi. So, first, like, most of the workers there are gentlemen. Gentlemen. So, hindi ko sila yung parang pwedeng harotin. Hey, Captain! Or, hey, hello! Hindi pwedeng ganon. Pero, at saka, hindi, hindi ko... May mga friends ako or co-workers na they do like that. But I don't do like that. Because, mainly because I'm a shy type and tamad ako magsalita. <laughs> and kinakabahan ako kasi we will have crew briefing. Which is the question and answer portion before the flight. So, when you are there... When you reach there, yan yung sinatawag nila. Siyempre, mag-check in yung, ano, check kukuhanin yung uh, flight hours, flight details, kung may special ba kayo sa flight, ganyan. What are, what are the needs for, ano, ganyan. If you have a VIP client, ganyan, ganun. I-inform kayo. And if you have medical, medical churva, inform din kayo. So, after that, the captain will get all the paperwork, the flying time, and, um, the, the the weather how's the weather looks like so they will come we will go to a briefing room then that's all the question and answer will happen yun yung talagang ayoko <laughs> kaya pag mapapasok ako sa office i don't say much kasi nga na, nahiya ko baka mamaya ang daldal dal, dal, dal ko tapos di pala makakasagot sa ano question and answer yun ay niisip ko lagi so lagi akong tahimik <laughs> <laughs> smile, smile lang ako, gano'n. So, when I smile, smile, alam na nila yun. Unless, syempre, ka-close ko na yung crew, ganyan. Pero, ano pala, pero pagka gano'n, ko-close ko na yung crew. Syempre, tipid pa rin yung, ano, yung interaction mo sa kanya until matapos na yung briefing nga. <laughs> so, ayun, sa briefing room, that's when all the question and answer happens. They will ask you how, first of, first of course, Good morning, everyone. Ganyan. So, our lead flight attendant today. And she will be your blah, blah, supervisor. Blah, blah, blah. You. And then, doon mo malalaman kung saan ka ma-assign. Sa forward, sa middle, or doon sa likod. So, doon mo ma- uh, ma- uh, Ano yun. Tapos, kung sino ang junior. At kung sino ang pinaka-senior mo. At kung sino ang flying partner mo. And so on and so forth. Madami pang- Marami pang, marami pang iba. And then, after all the briefing. And then, captain will- Ano, after- after the briefing of the captain, of course, it will fl flying time. Where's the bumpy road? Bumpy road talaga. Where, where is the turbulence will come in? And then if the if if the captain says we have turbulence at this time, everybody would need to stop their service. Blah blah blah. I'm sure you know. I felt you're. I'm sure you're familiar with that. And then they will tell you kung um yung flight time, headwind, tailwind, mga ganun. After the pilot will brief ipapasa nila sa cabin supervisor or lead flight attendant or whoever is the supervisor. <laughs> so, when that happened, si, si, si yon ang dapat mong, mm, siya ang dapat mong hindi kaibiganin. Siya yung dapat, kaibiganin mo, friendly, but in a nice way. Siya yung dapat mong katakutan. Kasi, siya yung, Mag, magbibigay sa iyo ng assignment, siya yung pag gusto kanya pagtripan, pahihirapan kanya, kanya. So when it comes to ano also like for for example, magko-question and answer, the first of course after niya sabihin, magsasabi rin siya ng mga introductions niya, ganyan, siya yung magsasabi kung meron tayong medical ano patient, ganyan on board if we have medical on arrival, if we need how many wheelchairs wheelchair do we have? So on and so forth. And if we have like minor, minor, ganyan, minor traveling alone, ganyan, or we have pasyente that needs, that needs medical from time to time during the flight, ganyan, so, and so much more. After that, then she will start asking you questions na. So like for example, Camille, alright Camille, can you tell me the procedure on how to open your door? <laughs> so, dapat ready ka. Ganyan. Dapat alert ka kahit kahit tulog pa yung kaluluwa mo dahil lang aga mo nagising. Dapat alert 
ka, dapat alerto ka. Yun talaga makakapag-alert sa akin noon. Magigising talaga ako. As in, gising na gising ako. Pagka sinabing, okay guys, let's go let's go to the briefing room. Boom! Doon na ako kakabahan. Doon na ako, oh my God, doon na papasok lahat ng ano, nerves. Doon na magigising lahat ng nerves and brains and everything. So, pag tinabi, okay, right, okay, Camille, tell me how to open your door. And, meron pa, ang mahirap doon, kasi diba, I don't memorize word by word. I memorize the keyword and then I put on. I feel I feel in the blanks until I connect it to the ano keyword, de ba? Yun sinabi ko sa inyo. So mer, ang mahirap don pag ang supervisor mo he wants or she wants to ano she wants you to give everything word by word na nakalagay sa libro. That's why they always tell us um. You should memorize the book in your heart, by your heart. Ano ba ta? Memorize the book by your heart. Ah, hindi ko na alam na kalimutan ko na basa ganon ng ganon ng term nila. You should, you should know your book by your heart. Basa para ganon, something like that. And then, and then after that, pag kaya ganon ng nakakaharap ko, tantantang da ako yung name eh. Marwa ang pangalan niya. So, si Marwa yung mag-aano sa akin. Siya yung, siya yung ganun sa akin. Ayaw na, ayaw ako noon. I don't know why. I'm so very innocent, you know. Tapos, hindi ko alam kung bakit ayaw. Lagi ako binibigyan ng hard time. First flight ko sa kanya, binigyan niya ako ng hard time. How do you operate your AED? Ha? Huh? Buti na lang nag-aral ako talaga. <laughs> kasi na, kasi dun sa crew, cruise schedule mo, makikita mo kung sino yung mga ano, supervisor. So, pagka nakita kong siya, oh my God, dagli review talaga ako. And then, so after niya, so, ko-questioning kayo isa-isa. Hindi lang ako, but the rest of the crew, they will question, and then the captain will do the final say, and then they will give us the emergency procedure as well. Like, kahit pa ulit-ulit siya, yun nga doon, it's a way for you to memorize everything. Like, if you have rejected rejected, ano, rejected departure, rejected, ano, blah, 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 and everything, or emergency, blah, blah, blah. Si Captain na magsasabi sa amin yun, so, sa amin nun, so, ganun. Kahit pa ulit-ulit mo siya narinig, it's good, kasi nare-remind ka every, every time. And also, may sabihin niya sa'yo, okay, sterile cockpit after takeoff, eh, blah, 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 okay, okay, okay. Mamemorize mo siya talaga, hindi mo siya makakalimutan habang buhay niyo yun. Yun yung by heart. <laughs> Tapos, after ng briefing, that's when we will proceed to the immigrations, ganyan. So, when we go to immigration, of course, hello, we are VIPs. Tabi-tabi. <laughs> so, tabi-tabi, pas-pas-pas, immigration, and then to the gate. So, when we arrive at the gate, sometimes the aircraft is not yet ready kasi kinikli, uh, sinaservice pa yung aircraft. That's why you see some of the crew na nasa, ano pa, na nasa departure gate waiting also because there are cleaners inside the aircraft or there are still crews or captain that is, from the previous flight na nan, flight na, na, na nandun pa sa loob. Yung mga nakaka, nagka, na arrive lang. Ka-arrive lang, nandun pa sila sa loob. That's why the new crew is still waiting in sa departure area. So, when you get on board, of course, wala ka nang gagawin. All you have to do is do your security check. So, the captain will go straight to the cockpit and then everybody else will go to their positions and do their security check, flight security check. After you say, after you do your flight security check, of course, you check the cabin from there and there, lavatory and everything, kitchen, kitchen talaga, gali. You have to check your stocks, you have to check that you have your correct catering, you have to check the number of food, everything, lahat. You should always check everything. And then, you also have to check where is the location of all your emergency equipments. Plus, where is your um, life raft? Where is this? Emergency lights, em uh, emergency flashlights. Everything that is emergency, that is needed for emergency, you have, you have to know. Even if paulit-ulit kayo nakasagay sa gantong aircraft, you all, you still have to check them 
ano each time each every flight and also you have to check the expiration ganyan you have to know everything hindi lang pumasok ka okay i'm done hello let's go get the passengers and boom hindi you have to literally know everything and then you have to cross check and uh, cross check and then you have to go to the and then you have to report to your supervisor and tell them cabin security check or cabin sec yeah cabin security check and then when you say you when you say check and you natapat ka sa super strict na supervisor then he will she will come she or he will come and ano double check yung ginawa mo na sinabi mong na check mo na Kaya mahirap din kasi kahit friend-friend kayo when it comes to job, job is job. Walang friend-friend sa job na job. Sa job na sa job na to, ganun. So after that, so we will start once every everything is prepared, everything is ready and then the girl in the front will say cabin is ready for boarding. So when cabin bit and ready for boarding, then magtatawag na sila. Then we will start boarding passengers. So when you start boarding the passengers, normally you see the flight attendants on the aisle. Diba? Yeah, so just to guide you with your seat number and where is this and this and this and that. So that's cabin. That's uh, during the boarding. So after the boarding, you have to do your, you have to do, if you have to do the manual emergency, emergency safety of course you will see the ano, flight attendants in between in between aisles front middle and i think one more behind the back depending on which aircraft you are so yeah <clears throat> after that you have to then after that of course that's when you have to secure everything for takeoff that's when the flight you see the flight attendants walking around and checking and asking you to please put the ano put the ano ba yun taas mo yung ano bintana <laughs> ano ba yun taas, taas mo yung bintana mo sir tas yung ano yung table nga pakiayos yung mag yun doon mo na siya ano hen doon ka na doon yun na nakikita yun please fasten your seatbelt please close your table please ano put your window up Ganyan, tapos please blah 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 and then to those who are at the emergency emergency stations na flight attendants will have to brief all the passengers from the emergency exit that in cases of emergencies they are the first person and they should be willing and capable and able to and they should know how to operate the door in the emergency in the emergency area because they are the one who will ano, they are the abc Am I, am I correct? Basta sila yung unang-unang, not una, but they should all, they are, ano, hindi sila, all, 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 all the, bawal ang children sa exit row, bawal ang older people sa, sa, sa ano, bawal ang mga naka-wheelchair sa exit row. Everything that is not eligible there, dapat alam, dapat makikita at mabibrief nung flight attendant assigned there. Basta ganun. Tapos, kailangan sabihin mo na are, tatanong mo siya, are you willing to help us in case of emergency? Are you willing to help us? Do you know how to operate the door? Do you know blah, 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 blah. And then, if they say yes, then, of course, you have to trust him. You have to trust the passenger who is sitting in emergency exit. Ganun po siya kahektik. <laughs> Ganon siya, hindi siya basta, basta, basta na flight attendant. Okay, I'm done. Haha, <laughs> ganon. No, it's more, more than what you think. So, after we secure the cabin, then that's when the aircraft or the flight attendant will announce to close the door. Once the closest door and then um, ATC is give us to ano na okay to taxi then that's when we go taxi taxi and then we ano fly fly ganyan we depart so when you ano yung eto yung eto yung secret ko yung time during taxi well of course i do this pag kilala ko yung flying partner ko and when it's early morning flight 
by the way. And I'm assigned at the back. My God, that's the time to sleep. <laughs> that's the time to take a nap for me. So what I do, <laughs> once everything is secured, blah, 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 okay. Taxi, everybody, flight attendants, please be seated for takeoff. Mm. Every time I hear that, I try to close my eyes. Kahit anong oras pa yung departure ko. I try to close my eyes. But while I'm closing my eyes, I am remembering which emergency exit, exit is near me in case this two exit door which is behind which is beside me and on the other side is not working i have to remember which emergency door should i go ganon ganon kaya iniisip habang iniisip ko yon habang iniisip ko yun syempre nakakatulog din ako <laughs> i have like 8 minutes to 30 i have like 30 25 to 30 minutes to take a nap <laughs> during during those hours yung take off pa ganyan until the sterile sterile cockpit a sterile ano something is ano na then until we are ready to ano until we are ready to stand up na basta ganoon uh, then i always take that moment para matulog but don't be like me that's not safety <laughs> so but of course, no, before I close my eyes or while I've closed my eyes, I'm thinking how to open the door in cases of emergencies, in case we have rejected takeoff, in case like this, in case we have fire, which exit is near, which, 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 which. I'm thinking and thinking and thinking until maka take off na kami, then that's when I like stop thinking. Like when once we are up in the air, then that's when I stop thinking and I go rest. <laughs> After I go rest like that, then, then the work, then this is the routine. The so-called routine because after takeoff, you have to set up your gully, you have to set your trolley, you have to set the food, you have to set everything. This is the routine. Comes in routine, you do the service, water service, drink service, pandesal service, food service, and then trash service. I always do it fast. Kasi, I want to save time para makapagpahinga ako, makapaghit ng konti, very light, gano'n. Gano. So, you have to do this, this. I don't take time, I don't take, I don't make too much talking, talking when I'm working. I don't like that. So, when I'm working, diba sometimes, diba, yung may iba na super friendly. Hi! Hi, ma'am! Hi, sir! Good morning! How are you today? Well, would you like to have some coffee or tea? Di ba may ganun pa, makikipagchikahan pa yung mga yan. Pag ako na magsaserve sa inyo po. Hi, good morning. Care for coffee or tea? Ganon la. <laughs> I don't talk too much. I don't like talking too much. Kasi English eh. Hello? Mag-English pa ba ako? Sakit na na ulo. Kuko lang na ako ng tulog. So, pag tinanong ako, then ganyan. Hi, care for coffee or tea? Coffee or tea? Chicken or beef? Ganon. Chicken or beef? Coffee or tea? Do you like to have some some milk on your coffee? Ganun. Ganun lang. Super, super duper hindi ako conversionalist. Tama ba yung word ko? Did I say it right? Basta hindi ako pal... Hindi ako pala entertain. At pag tinanong ako na... At pag tinanong ako ng ibang out of the topic. <laughs> out of the service yung topic. Like, sabi, oh, how long is the flight? Hindi ka nakinig ng briefing ng piloto, ah. <laughs> gagalit. Hindi ako nagagalit. Pero sinasabi ko, pag sinabi, how long is the flight? Sabihin ko lang, 3 hours and 30 minutes, ma'am. Ganun lang ako, hindi ako, tapos hindi ako babalik. <laughs> I stopped the conversation right there and then. <laughs> tapos, pagkatapos nun, basta ganun lang ako, and then, pagkatapos na, ano, would you like to have some bread? Would you like to have something else? Ganun. Hindi <laughs> naman ako ganun kasar. Kataray, no? Of course, takot ako sa trabaho ko. Kasi, syempre, ang supervisor namin, iba pa rin. May nagbabantay pa rin sa'yo kahit na naggumagawa ka ng service. So, pag mga ganyan na, of course, I ask them. Mm-mm, <laughs> ganyan. Would you like to have some wine? How about some uh, cocktails or mocktails? Would you like to have some mocktails? Oh, I thought so. Alright, thank you very much. Have a good day. Mga ganon, di, 
Ganun lang ako, word by word lang. I don't extend the conversation too long. Kahit na may magbigay sa akin ng paper, tapos nakasulat dun yung phone numbers and everything nila. Huh, thank you. <laughs> ang ganda ko. Shocks. Ang ganda ko pag yung ganun ako na, oh, thank you. <laughs> tapos, Kanya, after no, syempre, kukuhanin, kumangolekta ka ng basura, pinagkainam. So, while I'm doing the, ano, the trash thingy, sama, excuse me, sir, are you done with this? Are you, can I, can I take your trash? Is this a trash? Ang ganun ka, nung ganun, ganun ka lang. Nung ganun ka, oh, oh, okay, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry, I'll just come back to you. Ganun ka. Ang <laughs> ganun ka na lang. Tapos yun din sa, yan, kulay-kulay ka. May take a plate, please? Okay. Mga ganun. Would you like to have some water? Mga ganun. Ganun lang. Mga ganun-ganun lang ako. Simple-simple lang. Tapos after nyan, tulugan na ulit. <laughs> wala ka nang gagawin, tulugan na ulit no, after that, you have to check your lavatory, you have to clean your lava lavatory, you have to make sure that the station of the lavatory that you you station are wow, <laughs> kung saan ka na kayo sa station kailangan malinis pag sinabing malinis, malinis super linis at super linaw, ganyan, kasi check din yan, mag-random check din ng ating lead flight attendant. So, after how you, after everything else that you have done, okay, you have to call your ano, ganyan, blah, 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 blah. Then, sometimes, when I'm, ano, when I'm friend with the supervisor, I'll ask them, lalo pag early morning flight, can I take a nap? <laughs> oh, please, can I take a nap? And then I was, okay, good, good, take a nap, but don't sleep. Don't, don't, ano, yung deep sleep, pag ganun. Tapos, after that, okay, they will put on the announcement na before we land, 30 minutes before we land, prepare your cabin, ganyan, okay, you have to work, 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 gagawin ko ulit yun na mabilis para makatulog ulit ako. So, after kung makatulog, after kung gawin yung mga, ano, security check and everything, cabin preparations, and then all, and then, excuse me, sir, excuse me, sir, can you, can you put your tray, please? Can you can you secure the tray, please? Can you put out your window, 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 bintana, please? <laughs> <I'm> gonna... <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Can I fasten your seat belt, please? Mga ganon. Apag ka nagawa mo na yung ganyan, check, 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 mula tong pasahero mo, tapos darating ka na sa forward, cabin check. Wow. <laughs> Nasabi niya sa'yo, oh, okay. Sabi na, okay, ah, takbo sa likod. Huwag naman takbo. Maglalakad na ako mabilis, ng maayos, papalikod. Tapos po, ako po ay magsi-seatbelt na. And then, I will try to close my eyes. But while I'm closing my eyes, well, actually, natutulog na ako. I'll try to sleep na right after I give my security check. And I close the bathroom na. Because... Dapat awake ako 8 hour, eight minutes before we land. Just in case of emergencies. Which we will get a notification as well. Wow, notifications. <laughs> From the pilot. You know the amber light. Pansinin nyo yun. Um, before takeoff, mag, uh, ano yung magla lights? That's the amber light. Which means it's a sterile, sterile, sterile cockpit. Meaning, only emergencies can you can only call or contact em, em, uh, the captain du, uh, uh, you cannot contact the captain during those times unless it's emergency so once the captain it's eight minutes before takeoff and eight minutes before we land those are the critical phases of the flight wow oh my god i'm so proud of myself na alala ko yun <laughs> number oh. And so, that's when I need to be awake. Kaya after, right after I do the service and everything else, I try to sleep again. And then, wake up once I hear that ding dong. Ganon. Tapos makikita mo na siya amber. Amber like, okay. I have to check my environment. I have to check everything. I have to check my partner if alive pa siya. I have to check the passengers. I have to look around. Check, check, check. If all my, if all the, ano, at last box are spot properly secured. Ganyan. So on and so forth. And then, we landed. 
and who will make sa amin sa amin pag mabait ang ano pag mabait ang um, supervisor kami ang pinaga-announce niya lalo na mga junior pinap experience niya yon so kung wala yun sumi welcome to King Khaled Shampoo ano Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to King Khalid International Airport, where your local time is. Magano, your your local time is like that. La 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 la. Thank you for choosing. Blah 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 blah. And hope we see you soon. Mga ganda pag nag-announce ng ganon. Maganda bosses ko dun. Wow, wow ah. Ang hirap buhatin nong. But that is the fun part. Hindi ko po yun memorize. Kaya hindi ko siya natuloy-tuloy. Kasi hindi ko po yun memorize. Mayroon na akong palaging kodigo pag ginagawa ko yun. Like, good morning ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to King Khalid International Airport. Well, in the city of Riyadh. Mga ganon. Okay, ulitin natin. Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to King Khalid International Airport in the city of Riyadh. Hoy, minsan. Ay, oh my God. This is a very quick ano, entertainment ha. So, I did the announcement, no? Like, for example, I said, like, for example, we landed in Cebu. No? We landed in Cebu, no? Tapos po, ang sinabi ko po sa announcement, no? We landed in Manila, no? At hindi ko na-realize yun, no? I didn't realize it until I finished my speech. My announcement. So, like I said, Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Manila International Airport. Well, the where the local time is that 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 that, and the temperature outside is that 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 that. On behalf of the captain and the rest of the crew, we thank you. Blah blah blah, and we hope to see you soon. Bakla, ay sinasabi ko sa yon dai. Ay just ko dai. Tumingin sa akin yung flying partner ko nung type na yun, pero hindi ako nag hindi ko siya napansin. Tapos, tinawa, pagkababa ko ng, pagka let go ko ng mic, ding dong, I have a call from my supervisor. Hello? Where are you? Sabi na, where are you? Huh? Why? What happened? What's wrong? What's wrong? Why you say you're in Cebu? Why you say you're in Manila while you, you're, you are in Cebu? Are you sleeping again? <laughs> oh girl, my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Sabi ko sa inyo, guys. Oh oh, ay nako dai. Tapos magta translate, ita translate, kasi may ita translate sa Arabic yung English. So si Ingsit si si Lin flight attendant na yung magta translate. Nao sinabi ko in Arabic, and siya na yung mag apologize na maliyon na banggit kong area or place of arrival. Gano. <laughs> As in, nakakatawa. As in, hindi ko siya na-realize. Tapos tawa kami ng tawa after kong gawin yung announcement. Tapos sabi ko, hello? Grabe yung hello? Sabi niya, where are you? Sabi niya, sabi mo, ha? What do you mean? What do you mean, where are me? Where are me? Where is me? Tapos yun nga. Grabe yun. As in, talaga yun yung pinaka best. One of the best experience ever. And then, of course, pagdating namin doon, ayan na, pipick up ulit ng pasahero, and then the routine. Then, same thing until we get back to our base. Once we are sa base na namin, then doon ako talagang, ha, 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 makakahinga ako ng maluwag mga inday. And then, pagdating namin sa accommodation, all I do, kahit payat ako noon, kasi all I do, hindi na po ako makain. I don't eat anymore. Pagdating ko doon, like for example, natapos from 3.30, natapos yung flight namin, ng one, nakarating kami ng bahay or accommodation namin ng 1pm, matutulog po ako noon. After I, after I sleep, magigising na ako 7, 8, ganyan. So, I'm wide awake again until my next flight. Ganun po ako, ano, ka followers. I don't manage my time correctly. So, nahi ako yung nahihirapan. Pinapahirapan ko po actually yung sarili ko. And then, after that, of course, I have time to chat with my friends. Sometimes, I don't have also because pang umaga ako, sila pang tanghali during daytime. Tapos yung iba, pang gabi. So, hindi kami nagkakasalubong. Minsan, tulog sila pag dumating ako. Tulog ako pag dumating sila, yung ganun. 
nakakita-kita na lang kami one pag day off ang isa, minsan mayroon yung time na solo ko yung the whole villa because I don't have, all of them are nasa flight pa, ganyan. But, all in all, it's a fun, 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 fun. Lagi kong sinasabi, it's fun. It's a fun work, but it's tiring. Dahil ang kalaban mo ay puyat. At yung pressure, ang pressure during the flight, hinihila yung katawan mo, pabagsak. <laughs> So, yun yung, yun yung, the more, the young, yung pag bata ka pa, it's okay. You don't get to feel the, ano, bigat ng katawan, ng pressure ng kabi, where you are on flight. Hindi ko pa yung nararamdaman, kasi excited ka pa eh. Always excited, always want to go. Oh my God! Nandun pa yung feeling. So, excitement mo pa doon, to the highest level. Pero, while getting oil, got getting oiled, <laughs> Where you are old na, getting older, 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 so on and so forth, and so on, so on, and so on, spa. And so on and so forth, pag patanda ka na ng patanda ng patanda, yun na. Doon ka na, ma, ano, doon ka na, ma, um, paano ba to? Doon ka na, doon mo na ma-feel lahat. Kaya nga sabi nila, pag first time flight attendant ka, naka-high heels ka. Pag medyo um, nasa middle ka na, middle na rin yung high heels mo. Tapos, pag sobrang-sobrang matagal ka na, naka-flats ka na dahil that's when, ano, doon na yung paen na ng career mo, paen na rin yung katawan mo sa pagod. Kasi iba yung pagod sa nakukuha mong pressure sa flight. <laughs> yung cabin pressure, syempre iba yung ini-inhale mo na ano, na na yung binibreathe mo, iba. Basta ganun. Something like that. I know you feel that too. And then, most of us, we call it jet lag. But, it's a mix of everything else. It's not just a jet lag. Ang, ang talaga nakakapag-effect doon is yung, yung, ano ba, I cannot explain, but the pressure during the flight. Yung, basta, you'll know what I mean. Nakakapagod yung pressure sa loob ng eroplano yun ang nakakapagod. Kahit wala kang ginagawa, kahit nakaupo ka lang, basta, yon if you're a good traveler, you know what I mean. I don't know how to explain it, but that's the feeling of when you're getting old na. <laughs> so, that's it for today. We have talked about the our schedule routine. Our schedule, by the way, we have, sometimes I get to have three days off, in one week, sometimes I get I don't get to have days off. Every day, fly, 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 fly. And then, one day off ka lang, ganyan. And then, most of the time, you get to... At least, you get two days off in a row. Or three days off in a row. Ganon. Then, you get to plan your days. Going here, here, and there with your friends. Ganyan. And, yeah, it's still... It's a good job, after all. Um, uh, pag payday, sobrang sayang-sayang-saya ka. Sobrang masaya ka pag payday. Punta ka kagad sa mall. Trust me. <laughs> Tapos, padala, ganun. Padala, padala. <laughs> Tapos, ayun na. And that's the end of this vlog. I will see you again on our part 3. Which is, we will talk about... Um, the people and the environment sa company. Ganyan. What are the good things? Good good and bad sa crew, conflicts, ganyan. Mga chica chismis, ganyan. Tsaka yung mga senior. Hindi ko pa nakapag-uusap yung mga senior, yung mga bullies, ganyan. Hindi pa natin natatopic yun. And we will talk about those, ano, those topic on my next video so thank you guys for watching please don't forget to please 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 keep watching i need views on my youtube and also i need subscribers on my youtube views in youtube please keep watching my youtube channel um keep watching my videos and thank you guys because i know sharing this to you is Parang I'm taking you with me on my journey, becoming, not becoming, becoming to where I am. Ganon.
or how did I, basta yung ganun, alam niyo na yun. So, thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye!